Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. Okay, plan of action today. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas then you will know I'm going to get this mop on top of my head sorted out. It is grim. It's got so long and I never intended for it to get this long. I need a good like that much chopping off maybe um, and also we need to get this root scenario touched up and I don't mean dark I mean the grey so yeah haven't actually decided what I want doing yet I was toying around with going super super blonde with like no roots um, and then also didn't really know what to do with cut but I think I'm just gonna have it cut like to there again um, so yeah, stay tuned to see <laughs> what I end up deciding because normally my uh, colorist and stylist kind of persuade me to do something else. So we'll see. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing because I actually need to leave in about five minutes. Okay, today's outfit. There's a whole lot of mango. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, the majority is mango. Um, so this checked belted wool coat is a mango. Underneath I have, oh, I've got one of my new Holly J necklaces on. You might have seen this in the last vlog before we started Vlogmas. She sent me this one. It's one of her new designs. Very cute. Um, this is cashmere jumper from Find. And then I've got a sort of mock croc half moon bag. That's from Mango. It's nice and compact. Fits under the old arm there. Jeans, straight legs from Mango and then I'm kind of doing a bit of a matchy matchy shoe and bag thing which I don't know is a bit cringe but um, these boots are J by Jasper Conran and they are also a mock croc and that's it. It's very very basic this outfit just a bit of brown and black which is of course my fave combo. <laughs> you can tell by all these foils I am going super super blonde super super blonde I've got no idea how this is going to turn out but I have complete faith in Matt he never ever does me wrong so I'm excited but I'm also quite nervous I can't see what I'm filming so <laughs> you sort of got it really okay okay the first side is out Now I'm just back under my magical contraption waiting for this side to do. And obviously there's going to be a toner <laughs> put on so that it's not this fetching shade of orange. Okay, my toner is on and I am back under the heater again, just waiting for this to kind of tone down all the orange. And then I can be shampooed, conditioned, probably have a treatment on because this has been a lot of bleach. And then I'm ready for my cut with Natasha. Good morning everyone. Right, so this is why we have decided to film some of our vlogmases in advance because unexpected things happen. Now obviously I'm shielding my hair currently because I haven't revealed it to you guys yet but yesterday obviously I went to the salon. I was in there for just over four hours. I wasn't expecting to be in there that long. Uh, so our plans of going Christmas decoration shopping afterwards were foiled, <laughs> pardon the pun. Um, and yeah, basically when I finished having my hair done, 
uh, the salon was actually closing so I didn't want to faff around with my camera showing you guys and then when I got home I had like real mixed feelings over my hair um, this morning I had a little bit of a cry um, because they basically did exactly what I asked as always um, but I think I may have gone a little bit too short However, now it's about 12 o'clock, like lunchtime, I'm feeling a bit more positive. Um, we've just walked the dogs and I am about to get dressed. But first of all, I'm going to show you the revealed hair. Are you ready? Are you really ready? <laughs> Ta-da! Um, <laughs> yes. Okay, so since last night and since this morning, I have warmed to it. Um, basically, so we made it super, super blonde. You guys can see here. And if we start looking through here, it's much blonder. This is actually not the final blonde. This is just the starting off point because um, I wanted to go really, really blonde, but we have to build it up because of how my hair was before. Now, cut wise, it is this is the shortest i've ever had it like ever um this is probably a couple of centimeters maybe shorter than the first time i had it cut in a bob um and yeah i did ask for it to be cut really really short because i was feeling bold and brave and then when i got home i was like oh i don't know if i've gone too short and then with the like massive hello i can hear you creeping about yeah, he's back creeping. there he's creeping you, I can hear you. I can hear the floor creaking because you're creeping. What What do you want? It's nice, isn't it? What's nice? I like it. My hair? I like it. Thank you. But it is Christmas, so you shouldn't get by wearing that for next month. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. I like it. Thank you. Um, I've forgotten what I was saying now and I've got an itch. I'm not picking my nose, I've got an itch. Uh, yeah, so I have warmed to it um, and also my hair grows like grass. So in a month I'm going to have the extra inch which I think is probably where I should have had it cut to. Um, and then I'll be happy. So it's just hair, it will grow back, it is not a big deal. Tantrum over um, so I'm going to go back in January very early January to have the next lot of highlights put in we'll, which will start to transform the blonde into what we're kind of trying to build up to so yes that is the hair update now the plan of action for today is that we still sorry it's really bright all of a sudden um, that we still need to go and get a stand for the tree which we were going to do yesterday and then today we were going to decorate it so now all of our schedules off so today we need to go get stand for the tree some like updated decorations um and yeah other like Christmassy home stuff so of course we're going to take you guys with us now I'm currently just in this very nice jumper actually it's from Cezanne for anyone that is uh curious um and my sweatpants so I need to get changed out of those and then we're going to head off probably to Blue Water, I think. Um, so I'll pick you guys up in a mojo when I've got dressed. Okie dokie, I'm dressed and ready for some shopping. Um, right, what do we have on? Okay, Celine sunglasses, earrings. These chunky hoops are from Pilgrim. These second ones and third huggies are from Misoma. And I've got an ear cuff in this ear as well, that's also Misoma. Necklaces, right, this little uh, lightning bolt is from Aurelia, and then this is my Leo engraved pendant on a rope chain, that is Misoma. Coat is from last year, this is by Bimba and Lola, or Bimba e Lola. Uh, bag, it's the same one I had yesterday, the little mango mock croc half moon bag. I just really like it, found it very convenient yesterday. Um, underneath, got 
cashmere sweater on. This is just the basic one from M&S, which I love, having like five different colours. Um, the jeans are from Next. They are a skinny fit. And these are the ones from my last haul as well. These are the famous £18 skinny jeans. And boots, also the same as what I had on yesterday, the Mock Croc J by Jasper Conran. Um, Simon's in the shower. He might be able to hear the water running. So I'm just going to wait for him to finish and then get dressed. And then we can head off. Right, we've arrived to Blue Water, but someone's been getting a bit hangry when you're in the car, so we're going to get some food first. So busy, what are people doing on a Wednesday? And he's getting very hangry, very irritable, that's where we're going, a bit of TGI's. Well, this is just delightful, isn't it? You look like you're in pain. <laughs> oh, right. It's, I've got a little mocktail here, a something sunrise. What's this? Some sort of coffee crap, yeah. And then there's a burger and some other things going on here. And I have got the sesame chicken strips. And these are called Mario fries. They've got tomato sauce on them. Weird. Do you know what I can't believe? We can't find a real Christmas tree stand. Yeah, that is a valid point. This could potentially be an issue, but Amazon will always come to the rescue. You enjoying that? <laughs> so it's not been the most productive trip so far. Oh, there's new air cutlet. Tick to me. So we're going over there, look. Nowhere else has Christmas stuff. We're gonna what try this place. We just can't find a Christmas tree stand. Not Christmas stuff that we want. So we're gonna try this place called Christmas Magic. The home of all Christmas stuff. Look at this place, it literally got all the Christmas in it. If Emma can't find something she likes in here, then I'm cancelling Christmas. Here's a section we want, look, colourful. Emma's favourite part, greens and reds. There you go, look, some of these for a tree. No, I don't like them. Little Robin. They're a bit out there. That is very out. That is, that is you in a Christmas bauble, that one. These ones? No. Keep looking then. Keep look. Ho, ho, ho. Look, we've started veering more towards Emma's colour palette. Look, white. Very neutral. <laughs> white, more white, look. More white, more white. Put that down. We are not having one of those. I can pitch that on top of our tree. No, I cannot. We're not having that. Look at him with his fairy and his pink bag. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> we come to John Lewis because there was nothing in that store. So I very nearly cancelled Christmas, but then we come in John Lewis. Look, can't help herself. All this nice colour over there, straight to the white ones. You found one you like? No. <laughs> All right, we finally picked something up in John Lewis. I'm not going to show you what it was. So we're going to do Christmas tree decorations, aren't we? Yeah. But where, where are we now? Come somewhere else, where are we? White company. Oh, white company. <laughs> More white. All right. <laughs> right, coming H&M home now. Are you happy? Because there's a bit of colour. Look at this, red. red. Yeah, red is festive. Come on, get with it. Look at all this stuff. Oh, I love it. I love me a bit of H&M home. Do you reckon we need some more candles? Why not? There's always room for more candles. Right, we're back home. We've got all of our wares down there on the floor. Managed to pick up some bits. So we're not going to show you guys until we do the tree. But we have got one major piece of equipment that we needed. Me. <laughs> you and... The tree thing. The tree, yeah. B&Q saved us. There Thanks we go. Cute. The tree stand. It's got a pump though, they're not what the pump's for. Yeah, I bought the most expensive one. It's got a foot pump. It's so that you don't have to screw any screws. Oh, well. You literally don't have to bend down, you just go. When, so, are, we doing, when are we doing it? Well, tomorrow? So we're going to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you guys will have our third vlogmas tomorrow and it will be decorating the house, decorating the tree and just getting festive with our interiors. So we will see you then. Bye.